When I was in seminary, I had the chance to read and study and learn about the Bible. It was very exciting to me. And I still share that excitement each day when I read from the Bible and try to understand who God is calling me to be and how God is calling me to live. I had a roommate who was from India, and it was his opinion that the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament was the most holy of all the books of the Bible. And I asked him why that was. And Benjamin said to me, well, two reasons. One, it's in the middle of the Bible. And if it's in the middle of the Bible, it must be the best. I'm not, still not sure about his reasoning. And the second thing he said to me was, Isaiah has 66 chapters and the Bible has 66 books. It's a perfect match. I'm still not sure about that re reasoning either. But I am certain of this. God calls us to know God through the reading of the Bible. Friends, if it were me, I would recommend two realities to you as you consider prayerfully about reading Scripture. One, read the Bible slowly. It's not about speed reading. It's not about the quantity of our reading. It's about the quality of our reading. Read slowly. Take your time. Four or five verses a day, even less. And don't worry about trying to read it through for the year. Maybe you can do that in the future. But listen for what God is saying to you personally. Read scripture slowly. And the second thing I would say to you in thinking about scripture is to begin with the Gospel of Mark. And I'll talk about that in my sermon on Sunday. But the reason I mention Mark is because it's the story of Jesus in 16 chapters. And if you read a chapter a day, basically in a month, you will have reviewed and read about and heard about and learned about the life of Jesus through the Gospel of Mark two times. The Gospel of Mark is very straightforward. Jesus does everything immediately. There's not a lot of frivolous frill. Jesus does some ministry and he goes to Jerusalem. He's crucified and he rises again. You hear all the important things in the Gospel of Mark. It's not my favorite chapter or favorite book of the Bible, excuse me. It's simply where I would say to someone, if you're starting to read the Bible for the very first time, this is a good place to begin. But above all, read the Bible. It's one way of connecting to and meeting God. May God bless you and have a great day.